Good evening. I am Kimberly Van Dyke, Planning and Community Revitalization Director for the City of Wilson. Uh, my department includes the divisions of planning, community development and downtown development and tonight I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the successes that we've had in in downtown development over the last uh, year 18 months two years I try to get in front of you every so often because I want you to know what's going on and I want you to see the return on the investment that you are getting um, so I'm going to actually start by talking a little bit about you folks because everyone that is sitting in front of me here shares a core value and that is that you all believe in serving your community to make it a better place for the citizens and in fact you as City Council have a vision that you share and it is to strive for a better quality of life for our diverse citizens by preserving fostering and encouraging a participatory local government and community co coalitions for planned growth better and safer neighborhoods economic prosperity and recreational opportunities for all and if anybody wants to know where this is you can find it in the, the front of our budget of our city budget so that is your vision and in order to reach that vision, you as City Council have seven goals, and they are building a better Wilson, economic development, uh, improving infrastructure, homes and neighborhoods, downtown, recreation and parks, and community involvement. And you may think that I'm here tonight to talk to you about goal, the goal of downtown. And I am, but I'm actually also here to talk to you about how what we're doing in downtown is helping you reach all seven of your goals. So, historic downtown Wilson, that's what we like to call our downtown, historic downtown Wilson. And our tagline is the crossroads of charm and innovation, specifically southern charm and modern innovation, the place where those two things come together. And we collectively as a community share a vision for our downtown, and that is a crossroads of charm and innovation. Historic downtown Wilson is the heartbeat of a diverse community where arts, culture, and unique businesses draw people day and night. That's our vision. We're not quite there yet, but we are getting there, and I'm going to talk to you about how and how we're getting there faster every year. So, if you wonder whether or not we are getting there, the numbers tell the story. And you can see from 2009-10, fiscal year 2009-10, to this past fiscal year, 2015-16, uh, we have grown from less than a million dollars of investment in our downtown, public and private, to last year, just under $10 million. And this shows uh, that sa those same numbers in a different way. And that is helping you reach your goals of economic development and, of course, downtown development. So let me back up one. So as we've been going down this path of downtown development, we, you know, as you know, in about seven and a half years ago when I came here, we started doing downtown development a little bit differently than we had been doing it in the past. Um, and we got more, more aggressive about it, more intentional about it. And sometimes when you start to do things in a new way or a different way than you've done them before, um, some people are a little skeptical at first. And that's really natural and that's really normal. Um, and so people are sort of like, hmm, can that really happen? You know, is, that, is it really going to work? Um, and so I'm going to talk to you about some of the concerns that we heard uh, about whether or not this downtown thing is, is going to work or if it's working. But you can see by the numbers that it is working. So there's strength in numbers. But as we started, um, we heard some people concerned about us putting an emphasis on downtown residential living. 
Um, but we know from best practices in downtown development that if you do absolutely nothing else in your downtown, you need to focus on adding residential into your downtown and making your downtown a neighborhood again because that is the most transformative thing you can do to help support your businesses and drive property redevelopment, drive economic development. So we started working on residential development downtown and we heard people say, hmm, we're not sure if anybody will actually live downtown. And you can see from those pictures kind of maybe why some people would have said that, right? Looks a little questionable, but we persevered. And we are happy to say that the reality now is that we have the Nash Street lofts, the Wilson Furniture Company lofts, the Whirly Gig Station is under construction. For people who don't know what that is, that's uh, um, our one of our remaining historic tobacco warehouses in town, the, the high dollar warehouse, which is being transformed as we speak. It is under construction, and it will become 90 residential loft apartments and 10,000 uh, square feet of commercial space, which will be uh, retail and restaurant and office. And we also have various artists and merchants that live above their shops, and we've, we've had an increase in that. So we're having success in downtown residential development. People are living in our downtown in market rate units. In fact, right now we have 25 market rate residential units in downtown. We have 90 more on the way in the Whirligig Station. And by the end of 2018, we will have at least 200 people living in the heart of our downtown, thereby making it a neighborhood again. So that is the reality of what is actually happening now. And that's helping build a better Wilson, economic development, homes and neighborhoods, and downtown development. So another thing that we heard is that, ah, there's nothing to do downtown. There's nothing to do downtown. But I'm happy to say that actually, in the last 18 months, we've had over 200 events downtown, and we've brought at least 300,000 people into our downtown to enjoy those events. So there's a lot to do in our downtown. It's a very active, it's very family friendly, and it's a very fun place. So if you're not keeping up with it, I encourage people to get on social media, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, keep up with what's going on in downtown because it is a fun, active place with lots of stuff to do. And that's helping build a better Wilson recreation, um, opportunities, uh, community involvement, and downtown. So, we also heard that no one is going to invest in these old, run-down buildings. Who's going to invest in these buildings? It costs too much. Well, it is complicated, and we try to help people understand the tools that are out there to make the numbers work on building uh, revitalization for historic buildings. So, the reality is now that actually we have between 10 and 15 million dollars of property redevelopment projects <coughs> pending right now. Um, some of them that you see the pictures here, the old Piggly Wiggly, which we are helping um, the people that own Thomas Drugs renovate that building and move into that building. <coughs> the Cherry Hotel, which you're aware of that we are exploring. <coughs> Excuse me, I thought I should take some water up here and I didn't do it. Um, we are exploring some options for redeveloping that building. And then the last picture you see is a picture of the gentleman that owned Artisan Leaf. And those folks bought a building on Tarboro, which they are renovating, and they are um, putting their business in it. And if you don't know about this business, it's very cool, and it fits right into what we're doing with the, the crossroads of charm and innovation. And these are gentlemen that take cured tobacco leaves and actually make it into furniture. So it's very cool, and it fits into where we're going with our, our innovation and technology and arts and culture by taking our history and making it into a really artistic, artistic furniture pieces. Um, and we also have $30 million of property redevelopment that has happened in our downtown. In this, I did include um, Whirligig Station, which is under construction. And you also see the picture of the um, 200 block of South Street, um, which uh, South Street Visions, um, owned by um, Tom and Barbie, um, 
Tom Curran and Barbie Conklin, who I think are sitting behind me, <laughs> bought those buildings and redeveloped those. And we have 217 Brew Works located in that building, and which is a successful brewery, Wilson's first brewery. And in fact, you see a picture there of the inside of the brewery. That place is really happening. Even on Monday nights, you'll have, what, do you have Monday 90 people there? Yeah. The fire department here? <laughs> <laughs> um, so that place is a very active, fun, family-friendly place where it's great to see the community gather and commune, and, um, and that is helping build a better Wilson, economic development, infrastructure, and downtown. So, people also said, we're not sure if people want to open their business downtown. And it's true, not every business wants to open downtown. But, the reality is, over the last 18 months, we've had 20 new net or expanded businesses that have created 122 net jobs. And that is helping build a better Wilson economic development and downtown development. So another thing that we heard is that people weren't sure that building a World of Gig Park downtown would help change things. But to be absolutely honest with you, most of, not all of, but most of the progress that I've talked about in the last five or six minutes actually has come about as a result of the Whirligig project. That has been the catalyst for a lot of our downtown redevelopment efforts. And so we say we beg to differ. And that is helping build a better Wilson, economic development, infrastructure, recreation and parks, community involvement, and downtown. So the next thing we're, the next road we're starting to head down, and I think maybe Grant's talking about that later or at a later city council meeting, is where we're going with some of our innovation economy um, efforts. So we are, uh, trying to build a, a more robust, innovative economy um, in our community, and some of that would be located in downtown. So people are asking, what's innovative about historic downtown Wilson? Um, but what we're doing right now is we are part of Innovate and C, which you know a little bit about, and I know you're going to be learning more and more about, and that is a cross-city collaborative of five cities across North Carolina that are learning together how to strengthen their innovation economy. And we are building our own plan around this called Innovate Wilson. And um, as part of this, it's not the only thing we're doing, but as part of this, we are having events called Gig East events. Um, we had our first meetup a uh, few weeks, a month or so ago, a few weeks ago, um, and we actually held it at the brewery. And it was about, this particular one was about drones, and we were um, looking at how drones have applications in agriculture and things like uh, public public services and um, emergency response. And so we had some people come talk about drones. They had their drones with them. We opened the doors. We weren't sure how many people would even show up. And we were over, overly uh, surprised, almost, that we had about 50 people um, in Wilson that came to this event that are interested in this type of technology. Um, and so you'll be hearing more about that. But by doing that and growing our innovation economy, we're helping build a better Wilson economic development downtown and community involvement. So one of the things that we're hoping to do with Innovate and See is move forward and create an innovation zone in our downtown that would have a lot of businesses using technology and the arts for creative placemaking. And some examples of that we talked about tonight, uh, businesses like the brewery fit into that artisan um, sort of arts-based um, placemaking as well as Artisan Leaf. You've heard about Exodus XFX, that's the special effects film company they're looking to locate downtown. So that's um, kind of where we're headed with that. So just to wrap things, things up, we could talk more about this, but just to wrap things up, um, one thing that I hope you realize is that some things are starting to change. And 
An example of that is that there were eight property transactions in the last quarter of 2016 alone in downtown. So you can see how the real estate market in downtown is really speeding up. Um, we continue to show a lot of properties to local, regional, and national companies. Um, we honestly have momentum like we've never had before, I believe, or we haven't had in a long, long time. And this is helping accelerate both reaching the vision for downtown, but also helping city council reach your goals and our goals as a community faster. So, if I still have your attention, I want to say that leaders and partners continue to make things happen. And I want to thank you for your continued support and your vision.